and uh, as Sister Mata said this morning, uh, one of the prayers I want you to be praying for the church is more workers uh, so that God will help us in Jesus' name. And uh, I want you to know that uh, we are not stop doing everything we can do to get in touch with more people outside this including all our recording and then all this announcement through them we have seen a lot of people that want to come we see a lot of people that decided to come and then they couldn't make it or they did not make it but i know by the power and the blood of jesus Christ at the right time god is going to bring the right people in jesus name so please do not fold your hand the grace of the lord will be upon you the mighty hand of the Lord will be upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Let us continue to pray for uh, let us continue to pray for Sandy and Grisha that God will give them quick recovery in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will come back in full eight and uh, be agile in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to say welcome. The grace of the Lord will be upon every one of you in Jesus' name. As we have said before, we move forward. Today is the third week, and we are going to watch a little drama, especially about our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye. So please, let us watch that grammar before we move forward. Eventually got to you, <laughs> and you shall die. But why is that? What have, what have I done? You have few days to live. <laughs> but why? Why is that? Why? You've done nothing. It's a generational cause. Now is your turn, and you need to carry the cross. <laughs> Just try and tell me the dream. At least let me hear it first. No matter how terrible the dream seems to be, let me hear it. I saw something. Huh? What did you see? What? Well, you see, I saw you in my dream. I saw someone running after you so speedily. And eventually, you were kicked and you died. What? And just said, you know me very well. You know me very well. My dreams usually come true. I will get it in Jesus' name. Ah! This one will not be an exception. It will come true. No. It will not come to pass in Jesus' name. It will come to pass. Ha! Lord. I hope so. I hope so too. But, Jason, let me see yourself. This will come true. Somebody had a dream, and he said, I'm afraid to tell you this. I don't know you will take this. 
I don't know how you will accept this. You say, talk now. What's the problem? I saw something. What did you see? I saw you. And they carried you. And anytime I dream, that's thing always comes through. That's what I'm afraid to tell you. Because it's like this. Remember that with long life you will satisfy me and show me your salvation. Remember that I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Remember, O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? Remember, O oh Lord, remember. Remember. He had record. You will have record. He knew that he had record in heaven. He looked at his life and he looked at the way he's done things right according to the watch of the Lord. He said, Lord, you must be keeping records. Find out my name there. My name is there in the book of life and my record is there. Find out about me. You are going to discover that I won't die now. I said, you are going to discover that I won't die now. I have record. Heaven has my record. Jesus has my record. I cannot die now. Since I refuse to die, I will not die. I will not die. God has your record. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Saved by the grace of God. And reaching in the book of life in heaven. Evangelizing edifying believers, doing the ace and doing the right thing. There's a record for you in heaven. You cannot die now. I have heard thy prayer. Somebody there, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy cheer. Turn around. Are you crying as if you're an orphan? Are you mourning as if you're an orphan? Come on. We can change this thing today. I said we can change this thing today. I am not an orphan. I am not an orphan. I have a father. Yes. I am not an orphan. I will not cry. I have a father. We can change this thing. It is changed now in Jesus' name. Come. Come, come. I say, come and die. I will not come. Hmm? I will not come in Jesus' name. I will not die in the name of. I will not come. I will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not die, but live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not come. No, you are not going. I will not allow you to go. Jesus does not allow you to go. And the prayer this morning will cancel everything. Who is that? That's Papa Kumoi. That's my pastor. Papa Kumoi says he will not allow me to come. Jesus will not allow me to come. God's servant is speaking over my life and over everybody now. And so the heavens will not allow me to come. And so therefore, I shall not die. The man is not ready to die. He will not die. Whatever the man refuses will not happen. Whatever you say no to will not happen. Whatever you say no, that is not for me. I said that is not for you. 
a man has refused to set house in order to die, he will not die. I'm talking about somebody there today. I said I'm talking about somebody there today. And so therefore, I renounce you and death in the name of Jesus Christ. Since you've refused to die, you will not die now. Since someone must die, and you don't want to die now. So, I have to go in your place. Save Johnny. Save Johnny in Jesus' name. Save Johnny. 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 I will not die, but I will live to declare the works of the Lord. I will add unto thy days, tell me, 15 years. Make it personal. I will add unto my days, 15 years. That's not 15 years from now, but 15 years from when it was supposed to end. Not 15 years from today. So don't say that, you know, I got 15 years. Uh -uh, you have not started counting the 15 years. When it was supposed to end, from that point, you now have an extra 15 years. I will add unto thy days. Tell me how. 15 years. I do hope you are wonderfully blessed by that wonderful illustration. Whatever problem, challenge, fears, dream that the devil is posing against us, I tell you, something good is coming your way now. All those problems will be rolled away as we listen to Pastor W.F. Kumoyi pray for us now in Jesus' name. You are mighty God. Your wisdom is unsearchable. When those people thought the end had come for Mordecai and for the Jews, you said, no, enlargement will come. For your people here today, every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl, every believer here today, when the enemies think that the end has come, a new beginning is now starting. Like Isaiah said, that that sickness will kill Ezekiah. And Ezekiah turned to the wall and he said, Lord, remember, Lord, I'm appealing and pleading for every brother, every sister, for their relatives, their mother, their father, their wife, and their husband or their child. Lord, I pray, remember Calvary for everyone. Remember the blood of Jesus for everyone. Remember the stripes of Jesus for everyone. Sickness, you will not terminate their life. Come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, the gallows of the conspirators, will not affect their progress. Will not affect their destiny in Jesus' name. All the curse from the devil, all the curse from the cohorts of the devil, messengers and the destroyers of progress, Lord, I reverse all those curses. Your sons and your daughters will see a thousand fall by the left hand. Ten thousand at the right hand. It will not come near them. With only their eyes, they will see the reward of the wicked. You will lift them up. They will not touch their feet against the stone. Long life. Long life, long life, you grant to every one of them in Jesus' name. Lord, confirm it for everyone. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Things are happening already. The stones are rolled away already. If you are not saved, this is a privilege for you to give your life to Christ so that you can enjoy the victory that only Jesus Christ can give.
brief period of scripture reading. The Acts of the Apostles. The Acts of the Apostles. Acts 13. Acts 13. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manian, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bargesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elymas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Now when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and sat down. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. The God of this people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt, and with an high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. And after that he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and fifty years until Samuel the prophet. And afterward they desired a king. And God gave unto them Saul the son of Sis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he. But behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. But God raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, God hath fulfilled the same unto us their children, in that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, 
now no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom God raised again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder and perish. For I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. May God help us to be sure of the world.
tongue to speak thy gracious words. 